Hello, I'm Cyrus Burry, and this is a special message for everyone at Comic City 2 there in Madison. Um, in particular, Larry, the boss, and Amanda, his wife, uh, Mark, Bill, and Danny, the staff. Guys, thank you so much for the incredible support you have shown for my brand new Boom Studios book, Weavers. It really does mean a great deal to me and the team that you've taken such a strong position on this book. Uh, if you're a member of the public watching this video, whether it's online or over the counter, I urge you to show your respect and love for these guys. Like all retailers, they are the lifeblood of our industry. These ones in particular really do know their stuff. Um, you should check out their amazing podcast, Geeks of the Square Table. Um, you should read their reviews on Outright Geekery. I'm very, very fond of both. Um, and above all, you should pay close attention to their recommendations. Starting, I hope, with picking up Weavers number one. Um, and there's a promotional video coming up right after this all about Weavers. Thanks again, guys. Hi, I'm Sais Barrier, and here is a fact. Did you know that, according to experts, you swallow up to eight spiders in your sleep every night? <coughs> Hang on, eight spiders? That doesn't sound plausible. Who are these experts? Right, fine, it's a, a dodgy internet fact, but it's a nice little lead-in to my promotional video and I get to show off my gentlemanly dressing gown. I was going to do this thing where I wrote the elevator pitch on the mirror with, with lipstick, so, um... You mean, what if H.P. Lovecraft wrote a season of The Sopranos? I mean, I, I can do that better with graphics on the screen. What's that got to do with bathrooms, anyway? There's that whole climactic scene in issue one where there's a a brutal murder in a public restroom. So I, I just sort of, you know, get dressed. Yeah, you're right. It's not working. Let's start again. Starting again is sort of what Weavers is all about. Nice segue. It's the story of a nobody kid who's in the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, before he knows it, this glittering, psychedelic spider has shot into his mouth and crawled down his throat and granted him some extraordinary abilities. So far, so superhero, right? Well, so far, so gross, spider-oriented superhero. But the kid doesn't go swinging off to fight crime because, let's be honest, that's not quite the foregone conclusion we like to think it is. Instead, he gets drawn into the most terrifying, most brutal, and most powerful criminal mob the world has ever seen. So suddenly he's got a bright future, but only if he's prepared to sacrifice his morals and any other secret agendas he might be carrying around. See, when you swallow the spider, it whispers to you. It fights you and it forces you to be the one thing that every criminal organization really needs its members to be. Oh. So this is a new and unique take on a very familiar idea. In this story, with great power comes not responsibility, not justice, not moral good, but loyalty, whether you like it or not. Now, you already know me. I'm the writer, and my reputation for being dapper and dignified at all times precedes me. But I want to introduce you to the work of the artist, Dylan Burnett. Working with amazing colorist Triona Farrell, Dylan's achieved the impossible, mixing psychedelic horror with dark humor and strip-lit crime noir, all in the same place. It looks like nothing else on the stands at the moment in the very best possible way. Anyway, I'll let you get back to not feeling sick for the rest of the day. Thank you for listening, thank you for your support, and I hope you enjoy Weavers. 